Hi friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Anna and today I've decided to make another typical video for my channel and discuss with you tech, data analytics, data science, MEMS. So if you like my choice, don't forget to write the number of your favorite mem in the comments and let's go! Okay, the first one is easy and super simple and totally true. Once you decided to dive into the profession of data analytics, data science, you understand that you need to cover some core topics like SQL, Python or whatever. And you quickly realize that there are a lot of things beyond these topics. So yeah, of course, learning Python can be overwhelming at first and you will realize soon that there are a lot of things beyond just Python syntax. But this is also a strength of learning Python. Once you have a solid foundation in the language, you can apply it to a wide range of tasks and disciplines. So while it may seem daunting at first, don't forget about the things that Python can help with. So yeah, just take it one step at a time and enjoy the process of discovering. Second one is for data scientists, let me explain shortly. One of the data science model types is classification, which means model is dividing objects by group into common signs or characteristics. And this is actually one of the outcomes of this model. Yeah, funny daddy group. I like this one because like every Python developer, data analyst or data scientist like using Stack Overflow or other communities because such websites allow to get help and guidance from other developers who have faced similar problems. Programming can be a challenging and complex task and even experienced developers or data analysts can run into a problem or get stuck with a particular problem. So such websites as Stack Overflow, YouTube tutorial, some documentation can save time and effort and also provide new insights and even perspectives on a problem that might not have have been considered before. Additionally, using Stack Overflow and other community websites can help developers or you <laughs> learn new techniques and best practices to stay up to date with the latest trends in Python community. Number four. I like this one because everyone can write not optimized script including both beginners and experienced programmers. Writing optimized code requires good understanding of language, the problem being solved, and the performance consideration of the system running the code. So beginners may not have an experience to write optimized script, while the experienced programmers may prioritize other factors or performance such as code readability or maintainability. Of course, in some cases writing optimized codes can be crucial, like for personal project or for achieving good performance, but still such code can write everyone. <laughs> After doing these mistakes so many times, I obtained another habit, just totally opposite, and I do not delete anything, and sometimes I even lose a thread. So yeah, trying to balance with the same guy, <laughs> write in the comments. Okay, that was a five memes for today, write in the comments your favorite one, or send the link to your favorite memes outside the YouTube. And I'll see you soon in my next video, I hope this was fun, let me know if you like such format, and I'll see you soon.